Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been reviewing my share of Tiger Lake laptops. I recently reviewed the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. I just did the Lenovo Yoga 9i, the 14-inch with the leather cover, glass interior. Check it out if you haven't done so. But I just took delivery of one I've been really anticipating, and it finally came into the studio. It's the HP Spectre X360 14T. It's the new 2-in-1 convertible from HP that has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, an OLED display, and some really great looks. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at HP's all-new Spectre X360 14, here for late 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. It's on those platforms I post the updates. And why not check out my Discord server? It's a great place for us to hang out and talk tech. Link will be in the description below. And today's video is brought to you by all the members who contributed this month to the channel. Want to become a member? Hit that join button below. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP, I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. This review unit is on loan from HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing for the Spectre X360 starts at $1249.99. My review unit retails for $1699.99. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, once again, packaging is very premium and high end, something we've come to expect with the Spectre line from HP. Now, one thing I love that they do include is a nice carrying sleeve in the box at no additional cost. It's always been a nice touch. I'm glad to see it here with the Spectre X360 14. Now, lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. We'll get to that in just a little bit, but let's find out what else you get in the box. You get a setup guide as well as a 65 watt USB-C power adapter. They also include the extension cord in the box and they also sent over the pen now this charges via USB-C we'll talk about the pen later on in this video now holding the unit for the first time you get that gem cut design we're familiar with along with that nightfall black with their copper lux accents really nice color combination very premium very high-end looking and in addition to the Nightfall Black, you could also get it with the Poseidon Blue with the pale brass accents, or of course, you could stick with the natural silver. And at 2.95 pounds or 1.32 kilograms, this is thin, light, and easy to take with you on the go. And of course, as we always do, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side. We get just one port, and it's good to see a USB-A port. I like to see legacy ports even here as we're approaching 2021. Good to see that. And moving over to the right side, you get a micro SD card reader for storage expansion. You get your one of two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And again, the benefit of Thunderbolt 4, you can drive one 8K monitor or two 4K monitors. You also get your 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And in the corner is your second Thunderbolt 4 port. And as you can see, there's branding on one hinge. Again, very premium and high end looking. And like most two-in-one convertibles, you can't quite open it with one finger. But once you do open it up, you'll notice a few changes with the keyboard layout. Let's talk about them. Now, they used to have the power button in the corner in the gem cut design, of course, as we see here. They've now moved that to the keyboard itself. And they also have the fingerprint scanner located within the keyboard itself. Again, they took a lot of customer feedback and put it to action here with the Spectre X360 14. You also get a dedicated key to turn off the camera, and especially during this pandemic, that is a definite welcome addition. And they also love the fact that there's a dedicated key to summon the command center, especially you want to change the thermal profiles. It's very handy and convenient to have it right there on the keyboard. Now, the keyboard itself is very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. It has really nice key travel, good tactile feedback, and you don't feel like your fingers will bottom out. It also has a nice precision touchpad. It's a glass touchpad that uses precision drivers, of course. Great for two-finger scrolling and Windows 10 gestures work as advertised. They did an excellent job once again. 
Now, when it comes to user upgradability, like a lot of the two-in-ones we're seeing here in 2020, not much is upgradable. The one thing you can upgrade as a user is the SSD, although you get some pretty decent reads and writes, as you can see from these results. But if you want to upgrade the SSD, you have that option. Now, as far as the RAM, the Wi-Fi card, that's all soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade that, so make sure you get enough RAM for your needs. Now, as far as that Wi-Fi card, it is a Wi-Fi 6, making it pretty much future-proof for the foreseeable future. It's also has a Bluetooth 5.1 combo and it's been working well. Good uploads, good downloads, good connections. I have no complaints. And while inside, you'll notice it has a 66.52 watt hour battery. I'll test battery life and charging times in my upcoming full review. Now, as far as cooling, you'll notice it has dual fans for cooling. Again, I'll test that as well in that upcoming video. Okay, let's talk about the display. And the big news here is the move to a three to two aspect ratio. Now, according to HP, they've been listening to customer feedback and they said a lot of people were asking for this three to two aspect ratio. The benefit of having a taller display, as you see here, is you're gonna do less scrolling when it comes to things like web browsing and productivity work, such as Microsoft Office and the like. Now, the thing you need to keep in mind with a three to two aspect ratio is when you're consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube, you'll notice there'll be black bars on the top and the bottom. Some may not like that. Some may not care. It's just a matter of personal preference. Now, this particular panel is a 13.5 inch display. It's an OLED display, but it's also available in a non OLED LCD panel, which of course will give you better battery life. But the benefits of an OLED display are pretty obvious. The really deep blacks, the extremely vibrant colors that just pop off the display. This panel is absolutely gorgeous. Now, in addition to having those really deep blacks and the vibrant colors, it's also a very color accurate display and covers the color gamut really well. I'll bring you all the metrics in my full review. It's also a very bright display. HP claims this will get up to 400 nits. I'm seeing around 340 or so. Again, I'll bring you all the numbers very soon. Now, I also like the fact that this has the eye safe display. And what that means is there's a reduction of blue light, which causes eye strain, especially when we're working from home during this pandemic. This is a definite welcome addition for sure. And with the move to the three to two aspect ratio comes a 90.33% screen to body ratio. So this is the front facing camera on the HP Spectre X 360, 14 inch, two in one convertible with that three to two uh, 3000 by 2000 OLED display. Now this is a 720p 30 frames per second webcam. It's an infrared webcam, meaning you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. Uh, good for Zoom, good for Skype. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a dedicated key to turn off the webcam to give you more security and privacy. Now, this being a two-in-one convertible means you can put it into the different modes. You can put it in the tent mode. This is great for consuming media, recipes in the kitchen, the same for the stand mode. Now, of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode. This is great for use with the pen. Now, speaking of the pen, this uses the Microsoft Pen Protocol, the MPP 2.0. So it's the latest standard. It has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it charges via USB-C. It also sticks magnetically to the side, as you see here. That's a great way to keep track of the pen and you won't lose it and there's also a slot for the pen with the included carrying sleeve another nice touch now as far as the processor is concerned it's running intel's 11 gen processor it's the latest it's the core i7 1165 g7 it has 16 gigabytes of lp ddr4x ram and it also has one terabyte of ssd storage with 32 gigabytes of optane memory but the big improvement here that you'll see is with the graphics. This, of course, has the Intel Iris Xe graphics, a definite step up over last year's Intel Iris Plus graphics. And what this means in real world usage is that you'll be able to play games 1080p low settings, as I've demonstrated with other laptops I've reviewed that are running the Tiger Lake processor with the Xe graphics. And I've been very impressed with the audio, and that's thanks to the quad speakers that this has. They're banging Olufsen tuned speakers, and they give off pretty good sound, really good volume, decent mids, hint of bass. Not something we see every day from a thin and light laptop. Audio has been good so far. 
Okay, let's bring it all home. 24 hours in, first impressions of the HP Spectre X360 14 are really positive. I'm really liking that 13.5 inch OLED display. It is simply stunning. Like the move to the three to two aspect ratio. I like the improved graphics performance of that XE graphics. Uh, we've seen that before in other laptops running the Tiger Lake processor with the XE graphics. This is no exception so far. Again, I'll bring you all the numbers very soon. Really comfortable keyboard, good touchpad, two Thunderbolt four ports that's a nice improvement it also has a usb a port which i like to see and a micro sd card slot for storage expansion i love the fact that the pen and carrying sleeve are included at no additional cost and i'm expecting outstanding battery life especially for the non-oled panel the lcd panel you should expect really good battery life and i'm really impressed with those quad speakers they sound great negatives of course ram wireless lan are not user upgradable and there will be black bars when consuming media with that three to two aspect ratio so far, I've not seen any real deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. I think HP has a winner on their hands. I think the move to the three to two aspect ratio is a good one. So what do you think about this bad boy? The HP Spectre X360, 14 inch. As you can see, the pen does stick magnetically to the side. Not the strongest magnet, but it definitely will do the job. Uh, nice all metal build. We got the Nightfall Black with the Copper Lux accents. We've seen this before. The big deal here, of course, is the move to the three to two aspect ratio. That gives you a taller display. That means you'll do less scrolling when you're web browsing. It'll be better for productivity work, such as Microsoft Office and the like. Now, this has got the Intel Iris XE graphics, and that's a definite performance boost over last year's Intel Iris Plus graphics. Again, I will do the numbers in my full review. I've had this for about 24 hours, and I've been impressed so far. Now, the display, again, is 13.5 inch OLED display, three to two aspect ratio, 3000 by 2000 resolution, absolutely gorgeous, really deep blacks, very vibrant colors, which of course are the hallmarks of an OLED display. Uh, it's a bright display. I measure 344 nits. Uh, I'll bring you all the metrics, of course, in the full review. Uh, also, I'm expecting decent battery life, even though this does have an OLED display. Uh, if you want better battery life, check out the LCD panel, the non-OLED version that they do sell. They're also selling the 16 to nine aspect ratio version. That's the Spectre X360 13T. We've looked at that in the past, but the new move to the three to two aspect ratio, in my opinion, is a good one. I think they've been listening to their customers. HP's delivered here, and I look forward to putting it through its paces. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.